It is crazy. And joining me now who's to talk about the craziness of all this is Children's Scholarship Fund National President Darla Rumfo. Darla, great to see you. Thank you for being here. You know, this woman doesn't want liberal pandering. She doesn't want the privileges that come from being defined as a victim. She wants her kids to be survivors, to, to be able competitors by getting the skills they need to compete in schools. And she's not getting that from school. She's not alone, is she? No, she's not alone, and you couldn't come up with a better word than yakety smackety. Um, <laughs> I so, agree. Yeah, parents, parents are mad, they're motivated, and they're supporting in school choice in numbers like we've never seen before. And you mentioned it earlier, kids aren't learning their math and their reading. We have less, before the pandemic, there were less than 50% of our kids who were proficient in math and reading. So why are they then promoting yakety smackety or non-academic subjects that are controversial at best I mean, many people might say they're harmful, but they're controversial, and they're clearly, based on what this mom is saying and so many other moms around the country, they're not in line with the parents' values. No. And, you know, during the pandemic, 18 per, some 18 percent of people switched schools. About half of parents thought they wanted to switch schools, but you know what? I bet you they couldn't because they didn't have the resources to do it. And like this mom said, we need school choice. We need it now. And I would even go beyond that and call it education freedom. We need yes. the money to follow the child, not fund the system. And a system like they have now up in New Hampshire, we have something called education freedom accounts, and they take the state portion of the, the, the education funding if, for parents and kids that are up to 300 percent of poverty, the money goes into an account, and the parents can even spend it on things like tutoring. And don't you think with wow. all, the, all the pandemic learning loss, so many parents would like to be able to get a tutor for their kids. Absolutely. You know, you, you talk about the beyond the academic stuff, which you describe very well. Uh, this woman, Gabrielle, she, she found in, in her school's library, one of her, her school's library, pornographic material that she said if, if, if a, somebody was to show a kid this pornography on the street, they would, they would be arrested for child endangerment. But it's in the school library. I mean, that's the kind of garbage that they want to get out. How do you, how do you clean house? How do you get that stuff out of your schools? I don't think we can just clean house. I really think that the only way that you can get on a consistent, continuous basis, you can fight back is if parents can, can get transparency, and then if they don't like what they see, they can move their kids. They can vote with their feet. And you know, Milton Friedman said, why are government schools so afraid of non-government competition? If the school's doing great, parents will stay there. And if they're not doing great, why are we defending them? Yeah. So we need to have competition. We need to give parents the ability to make these decisions. This mom knows intuitively that she has rights when it comes to her child's education. Parents know that. And parents across all different demographics and all different incomes, they want to do the best thing for their children by and large. And you're right. How can it be that something that which puts you in jail if you showed it to a child in the street is allowed yeah. in our, in our government-run school system? By the way, you mentioned Milton Friedman. Uh, he also said that the, the downfall of, of public education came with the unionization of teachers. Uh, because they, they'd be more interested in their own concerns than they would of the, the children's concerns. Um, you, you do have a, an educational establishment headed by the unions that is promoting a lot of this stuff and, and filling classrooms with it at the expense of reading, writing, and arithmetic. You only got 20 seconds to talk about it, but go ahead. Well, in the last 20 years, the administrative part of education went up 88 percent, while only 8 percent increase in enrollment. And 100 percent of, just about 100 percent of donations go to Democrats. Right now, Republicans have control of more governors, houses, more state legislatures than ever before in my lifetime. They need to make use of it, and they make, yeah. need to make school choice happen now. Our kids' lives yeah. are at stake. Well, we need to protect our it's children. It's happening in New Hampshire. It's happening in Virginia. Hopefully, it'll have, yep. happen elsewhere. Darla, great to see you. Thank you for the work Thank you're doing. You so much. Appreciate it. Thank we'll be you. right Thank back. You. Stay with us.